I kind of, I, um, I color coordinated them. All the complete metamorphoses are yellow, all the incomplete are orange, so I wouldn't confuse myself. So I know if I have, like, automatically, me as a teacher, I would know that, oh, there's an orange one here, so obviously something is wrong, you know? Nice. But for students, they just think it's a color. Nice. Um, so, like I said, this would be the actual life cycle of the butterfly, and then you would go and pop put what each individual stage is called. And so that would be the actual the life cycle. And um, I, you can talk about migration while you're talking about the monarchs because they do migrate and it's amazing to see how far, how tiny they are and how far they can, you know, fly across continents. And it's just crazy. And they're just little, these little things that, you know. So um, that's the actual point. Whenever you want to start talking about incomplete metamorphosis, like I said, you can still talk about, let's just say you wanted to do the dragonfly, the example that I was using. Okay. It would still be the egg. However, once it gets to the second stage, this is where the incomplete metamorphosis changes and the larva becomes a nymph. So then you would uh, bring in, this is actually a, a dragonfly nymph, which is kind of crazy. And then you would take away your pupa, bring your adult down, and then put your actual dragonfly up. Yeah, uh-huh. So, and then you would put over here that there is no fourth stage. But they still need to know that this is the life cycle of the dragon. Despite, you know, the fact that, and like I said, these are all orange, so you would know that you did something right. And then, um, yeah, I'd go to the head. <laughs> On the test, they confuse them because they'll put nymph, two nymph stage, and then they'll they'll count stages. Yeah, and that's think. what somebody was telling me. Yeah. She said that on the test they have two nymph phases. Mm -hmm. So I mean, in our reality, you could.